Growing up, we're told many things, some for our own good and some because our own parents just like to troll us every now and then. I'll give you some examples. So, for the longest time, I don't know, I don't remember which parent said this and whichever one said it deserves the crown because honestly, I believe this for over 10 years. One of them one day said to me that in America, in all of America, the entire 50 states, there existed just one eagle and that one eagle was endangered. So I even went to college believing this myth <laughs> until one day I like, I actually like said it out loud and you know, my friends looked at me like I had four different heads and then proceeded to laugh at me. So yeah, another myth that parents, well mine especially, told me while growing up was, this one was actually my mom. Growing up, I had a sweet tooth and I always wanted ice cream. I either wanted vanilla with sprinkles or a red Marilyn. But um, basically she said to me that the ice cream truck only plays its tune when it runs out of things to sell. So every time it came down the block, I ignored it because I assumed it's just the guy's way of telling me that he had nothing left. It was an empty truck going back to shop. You know, for the longest time, I believed her until one day it showed up at the schoolyard and playing its tune, he had customers lined up at the truck and I was like, oh, what? You're not sold out. Oh, you're actually calling people to you. Yeah, I caught on after that. Another myth was standing too close to the microwave gave you cancer. For the longest time, I would put my food in the microwave, make sure that my exit path is cleared, hit the start button, and then flee the kitchen for the longest while. Until, when was it? I just recently stopped doing this. When, I guess one day I was just too lazy to run, and I was like, F it. I made it this far. Another myth I grew up hearing was, and this one was actually my dad. I don't know, what the heck? Anyhow, he was like, basically if you shower in the morning and you go outside into the cold, you'll turn into a rock. Now I don't know if he was a Game of Thrones fanatic before the HBO series, but he was basically casting lots, like biblical lots. Here I am as a toddler thinking, you'll go outside, you'll get ashy, form some grayscale up your arm, and eventually fold over and become a rock. Yeah. <laughs> so it was his way of, I guess, preventing me from getting sick. But rather than telling me, hey, you're gonna get sick if you keep doing that, you know, he decided to scare the pee out of me just a little bit. Yup. So growing up, um, my family and I would take trips to Ghana a lot when I was younger. And I was a hyper kid, as most children are. So I would stand on the little bell cart thingy to transport luggage from the street to the belt. And that my dad would get annoyed because every time he turned his back, I was on another cart after he done yelled at me four times to get off. I was also a little hard headed. But that's besides the point. <laughs> so basically he told me that if I keep standing on these carts and he's not able to see me and tell me to get off in time, the guy pushing the cart would take me on the flight to the island where all bad children go. And I would never see my parents ever again. Yeah. And every time they wanted to scare a little bit more pee out of me, they would use that. That was their go-to. Those are some of the myths that I grew up with. Let me know if some of these were familiar. If not, feel free to share yours down below. What up everyone, I'm Eunice. I hope you enjoyed that video and if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time, bye guys.